2011 general elections are just months away, but complaints still abound that the Electoral Commission, which is in charge of the polls, is partisan. This was the verdict of the State of the Nation platform at its monthly meeting today, the first since the election campaigns officially kicked off last week. The platform brings together politicians and scholars, media and civil society to discuss the state of the nation every month. And today, the discussion was on the perceived and potential roadblocks to a free and fair poll. Of all the people he's providing this service to, only one is expressing complete confidence in him and satisfaction. And the rest are basically complaining about one thing or the other. Today's meeting was attended by BP presidential flag bearer Nobat Mao on a break from his campaign trail in the east of the country. He told the Electoral Commission chairman, the facts on the ground do not suggest it's acting independently. We only fear that the commission as a body with its civil service and so on are under the overwhelming influence of the ruling party. However, Kigundu also hit back at politicians for not allowing the electoral law in totality and only resulting to it when it benefited them. Constitutionalism, yes. But we may be misunderstanding some of us. When is it constitutional when it benefits you? No. Even when, when it does not benefit you, as long as the constitution is followed, you have to remember there must be a loser and a winner in any election. An NRM official, Stephen Asimwe, defended the EC against weak candidates who he suggested do not have support in the first place. It is true that the Electoral Commission might have problems, but it is also true that some candidates know that in some areas they will score zero. The verdict and conclusion of the panelists was for government to disengage from the activities of the commission, but also urged its chairman, Engineer Kigundu, to set a good example.